Move call to order the Elk Creek Fire Protection District Board of Directors regular meeting, Thursday, May 14th, 2015, at 1800 hours. <coughs> Director Wisniewski, will you lead us in the pledge of allegiance? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Okay, roll call. Uh, let the records show that all board members are present with the exception of Director Fox. Um, turn your attention to the agenda. Are there any uh, deletions? Additions or corrections to the agenda? I don't have any. Good. Uh, I'd entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, review the April 9th, 2015 regular meeting <coughs> minutes. Takes to the financial matters, Alec. Um, we have before you the um, income statement for uh, the four months ending April 30th, 2015. Um, I reviewed them. I don't think there are any issues that we haven't discussed. Uh, our expenditures uh, for the month were $142,219, and I move that that expense be approved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Anything else? No. Any questions on finance? Okay. That will take us to the Chief's report. Chief's okay. reports. Okay. Uh, we reports uh, fairly short uh, this month. Uh, we had um, 99 calls in April, so uh, once again we continue to be on pace for uh, record uh, record calls for the uh, year. Uh, no, uh, nothing of any real significance in the calls. Uh, we continue to just be running more EMS calls uh, than normal and um, relatively slow on the fire side uh, during April. Um, we had, uh, let's see, the uh, engine 431, the one that sustained the chain damage uh, during the snow is uh, finally being repaired and um, we've got resolution from the insurance company that uh, you know, the, the uh, repair shop was waiting until they approved the full amount on the repairs. That was approved and uh, we've actually gotten paid uh, for those repairs uh, and uh, hopefully that should be back in service uh, fairly shortly now. Um, the new tenders are in service and we did uh, deliver the, the uh, old ones uh, to the purchaser. So that's all uh, squared away. And uh, we're anticipating the new squad uh, will be back here for uh, getting the equipment on it uh, next week or so. Uh, and hopefully have that, uh, that in service pretty, pretty shortly. Um, the, uh, I talked to the architects today about the remodel project. And uh, we're going to be doing a final review of the plans uh, next week. Um, basically, they want to look at uh, you know all the finished stuff, car you know carpet and everything like that, and uh, uh, finalize that, and we should be able to. Um, they just the um, you know, The biggest issue that we're foreseeing with that is that uh, right now the. Should be advised, alarm company calls still getting alarms from zone 13, second floor. Uh, currently, the all of the uh, contractors in the area are 
uh, busy enough that uh, it may be difficult to find one that actually will bid on the job just because of time. Um, you know, looking at the real estate market now, uh, we were seeing <coughs> houses on, on the market for a day, but uh, now a lot of houses are not even making it to the market before, before offers are being put in. And uh, the general contractors are also starting to uh, really ramp up and be busy in the residential construction business again. So uh, the architect feels that we may have have an issue with timing on finding a contractor who can who can do the work for us. Uh, but uh, we'll find out <coughs> in the next uh, three weeks or so uh, as we are ready to go to bid on that. Uh, we won't have any idea of cost until the bids until they bid. Is that correct? That's probably correct. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any uh, kind of estimate at all? Not yet. Uh, and I think the the last piece of that is uh, meeting with the architect because. Ah. They had some questions about, you know, uh, kitchen appliances and things like that. That uh, you know, they're holding off on their estimate till, you know, we kind of nail down kind of what what we want in in that respect. Um, you know, so um, I did tell them everything cheap, you know, cheap but durable. You know, we'll see what happens with it. Um, the uh, the other thing that we're going to have to look at, uh, we've been trying to come up with other alternatives for housing the crew, but I think that uh, our best option still is that we should uh, uh, either rent a travel trailer or um, purchase one and then sell it when we're done with it uh, for the crew to uh, basically be housed in. Um, you know, we're, we're not liable to find a, a rental property that they could stay in. You know, the other option would be for them to, you know, throw some cots up in the Angels Bay, and I don't know that that would be really feasible for the duration How long of the do you time. expect that? I would say that we're probably looking at uh, six weeks uh, to, you know, more than two months on the project. That was a good idea. How yeah. big a one are you thinking? Um, basically big enough to uh, give, you know, a couple of people some decent privacy. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say that we, we don't need anything fancy there. We don't even need, you know, the ability to, you know, cook or anything in there. Uh, just uh, just some bed space for them uh, for a nighttime. Uh, let's see, other stuff we've got, uh, um, Conifer Mountain is uh, working on Firewise community status, so uh, we're hoping that uh, they will be uh, become our sixth community to uh, go for Firewise uh, community status, and um, we'll, they're uh, getting their their uh, plan presented to them on Saturday morning. So that uh, should be uh, should be a good start for them to get uh, working on that. And then we also um, I'm going to be scheduling the fire adapted communities uh, kickoff meeting with sometime within the next couple of weeks. Uh, we've been recruiting pretty heavily for that and I think we've got a good group to get started. Um, fortunately, uh, on that respect, um, we are anticipating at this point that uh, it is going to continue to be wet uh, and we're unlikely to have a significant fire season based on the current long-term uh, forecast. Uh, the, uh, NOAA has come out and said that uh, the El Nino is strengthening and uh, they're now saying a 70% chance of wetter than normal uh, from now until October. Uh, the downside of that is that uh, we're already seeing, uh, you know, road erosion and some uh, minor flooding in areas. And uh, if this continues, you know, it's potential. There's a potential that we can see, uh, you know, significant flooding as we did, um, you know, back in uh, 2013. So. Hopefully, it'll fall somewhere in the middle there where we have a wet summer, but not so wet that we start to uh, uh, have floods again. And then finally, the only other thing I had is that uh, we are, we've finally gotten the Colorado Mutual Aid Agreement to uh, the state chiefs uh, for approval by, the, by all of the chiefs at the meeting in June. And uh, so hopefully by the time uh, the board meets, uh, next month we'll have that available for uh, our 
final ratification of that agreement. Oh, question, Chief. Um, yeah. In looking at the, uh, the medical reasons for the increased EMS calls, is there any trend, and how, how's the collections going? Uh, I don't think we've really seen much change in collections. It's pretty much falling right at that 50% level so far. Uh, and um, But I think that in part uh, we're seeing an increase because actually we've gone from having some vacancy uh, in the residential market up here to pretty close to full, um, uh, you know, full occupancy. So. There's more people, you know, kind of moving back into the area, and then on top of that, uh, you know, we're just seeing more people come through. Uh, we're looking at pretty much record level of traffic on 285 through the community, and uh, and that's just adding more, you know, more potential for us to be going out. Thank you, Chief. At the last um, meeting, there was a discussion towards the end in your report. Excuse me regarding um, the issue with uh, the accident that was down here at Schaefer's Crossing and I believe it was a towing company that had right. made a request or something like that. Is there any more that's come of that? No, we haven't heard anything okay. uh, back from that. So I think I think, uh, I think that, that matter was resolved. Good. Thank you. Anything else for the Chief? Deputy Chief, where are you? All right, uh, new business, consideration of limited waiver of attorney-client privilege. Okay, so you recall uh, when um, uh, there was the uh, Dolan versus Cole uh, case um, a while ago, uh, Bob Cole requested a waiver of the attorney-client privilege for, in order to release materials <coughs> that were um, between uh, the fire district and Bob Cole as their attorney in order to uh, defend against the lawsuit by uh, Bill Dolan. Uh, that court case, of course, was uh, resolved with uh, the court essentially throwing out Bill Dolan's uh, suit. However, he has also sued uh, the uh, FPPA, the Fire and Police Pension Association, uh, and two individuals on the same basis that, uh, you know, they made a, an error in um, uh, basically denying him a, a disability pension. Uh, the FPPA has subpoenaed uh, the records between the district and Bob Cole, and uh, in order to have those records be, uh, you know, available as um, evidence in that case, uh, the board would have to execute another uh, limited waiver of attorney-client privilege to release that. All of that information was already made public in the first case. They're, they're not requesting any new uh, information, so my recommendation would be that the board go ahead and make a motion to approve that limited waiver of, uh, of immunity, of um, uh, client privilege immunity. Attorney client privilege. I, I assume our lawyer has looked at that. Too. Our lawyer has looked at that and recommended okay. that course of action. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any new business from the board? I'm not sure. Good. Okay. Under old business, uh, first item, architectural update. Uh, kind of covered that already. Covered there really wasn't, you know, not much else to report at this point. Okay. That'll take us to the ratifying <coughs> the sale of apparatus, the 2003 brush truck and the 2004 truck. Right, and uh, you'll recall we actually had the discussion at a meeting in the past, but specifically the auditors wanted to see a motion uh, to approve those. Both of those were actually things that we sold in the previous year, but uh, uh, they felt that the discussion uh, at the meeting was was not sufficient because it hadn't been followed up by a motion to approve that sale. So uh, okay. we need a, a motion basically stating that that was approved. Okay. So moved. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Any other old business from the board? Any citizens' issues? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> so no moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. At 1816. I'm just to run the nine o'clock. I know that. <laughs>